Title, Taylor's Tunes Turn Sleepless Nights for LA Residents. TL, DR, Taylor Swift's LA gig was the event of the year with 70k fans in full chorus, but some Inglewood residents were less than pleased as they counted instead of Zeezers. In the City of Angels, while many were blessed with a musical extravaganza from the pop sensation Taylor Swift, some were craving the angelic sound of silence. Yes, as it turns out, not everyone in Inglewood was feeling 22 during Swift's nighttime jam session. The Sophie Stadium, echoing with the voices of 70,000 diehard Swifties, was the place to be. They sang, danced, and channeled their inner pop star. It was electric. It was monumental. And, oh boy, was it loud. However, as the clock ticked past midnight, the distant crooning of Taylor and her fans wasn't the lullaby the local residents were hoping for. How loud are we talking? So loud that some residents were checking if they were accidentally at the concert itself. One particularly irate resident, coincidentally, a dude from TMZ, coincidence or karma, you decide, recorded the late night serenade, presumably in between thoughts of muffling his windows or perhaps considering a friendly note to Miss Swift. But here's a fun spin, can we really blame Taylor? Or is it just the cost of living close to the heart of entertainment? After all, who doesn't want a free concert from their balcony? Once in a while? Dwelling in the vicinity of the Grand Sophie Stadium does come with its share of star-studded events. It's like living next to Disneyland and then being surprised by the fireworks. You signed up for the glitz, but the boom. That's the package deal. Relatable much? It's like placing your bed next to a blender and hoping you'd only hear the soothing swirls, not the crushing ice. But let's be empathetic here. We've all been there, longing for just a few hours of peaceful sleep amidst the chaos of the city. So, while many Swifties had the night of their lives, it's understandable why some just wanted to shake it off and get some rest. So, what's the consensus? Is it Hush Taylor or Rock On, Swifties? Discussion tease. Next time, earplugs or an afterparty? What's the best solution when your neighborhood becomes the concert venue of the year?